Hi everyone. I know it's been a while since I've done a video, but um, there's been so many different things going on. Oh my goodness. Um, I actually tried to upload, I think it was week 34, 33, 34, something like that. I can't even remember the last video I did. And it wouldn't let me upload it, so it took like two days. It kept saying error, error, and I tried to do it, and it wouldn't let me do it, so I just said forget it. Anyway, um, I have some good news and some kind of sucky news. Um, today, I am actually 36 weeks and three days. I actually had to go to the emergency room on New Year's Eve due to... Um, I was having a really, really bad headache, and my vision was blurred, and I was dizzy for several hours, and I thought maybe, you know, my blood pressure was up, so I didn't want to take a chance. So I had a friend of mine to take me to the emergency room. I called my doctor, and um, he told me to go straight to labor and delivery, and they um, ended up admitting me. Yes. I um, was there for, check my time, okay. I was there from Thursday, which is New Year's Eve, until Saturday. I went in, like I said, for the dizziness and the headache and the blurred vision, and they ended up keeping me because I started contracting. I was having contractions like every two minutes apart. So they did all they could to try to stop the contractions, and to make a long story short, um, I actually started dilating. Um, I dilated, like I started thinning out and then I started to dilate, but I didn't get past like one and something, like a fingertip or whatever. Um, so they put me on all this different stuff to try to stop the contractions. And the last thing that they wanted to do was um, put me on magnesium sulfate, which they did end up doing. Made me feel awful. Oh my God. I can't even explain what it made me feel like. <laughs> I just felt like, I felt like crap. They put me on the magnesium sulfate. Um, I was on that for like two days. Well, like a day and a half. Yeah, the magnesium sulfate. Then they had to end up. They had to end up catheter, catheterizing me. Um, they gave me a cath, which hurt like hell. Yes, I think it hurt worse than it did. It hurt worse than my contractions. So I had to have a catheter, and then um, I had an IV. And they stuck me like 11, 12, 13 freaking times drawing blood because I was on magnesium sulfate and they had to make sure your levels weren't, you know, going down or whatever. And um, after I was on that for a little while, um, I started to hurt. And then they gave me some Stadol, this kind of pain medicine that made me high as a freaking kite. And my mom and my husband and everybody said I was so mean. I don't remember anything, you know, I was really mean to <laughs> people that were there, but I didn't, I don't remember anything, it was the medicine that had me crazy. So after I got off of, um, they took me off the, the um, magnesium sulfate actually on Saturday. Um, Friday night, I had an ultrasound done, Friday night, um, and they actually told me instead of my due date being February the 6th, I was measuring, um, I, I would have been, it was, that was Friday, I would have been 35 weeks this past Saturday, but I was measuring 35 weeks and five days on Friday. So 30, so on Sunday, this past Sunday, I actually turned 36 weeks, so that's why it makes me 36 weeks and three days today. So they told me that the baby is, is pretty big size for a 36 weeker. So Aiden was measuring Friday night, five pounds and nine ounces. So of course, you know, after 36 weeks, they stop, um, <clears throat> they stop trying to, you know, stop your labor or whatever, your contractions, they don't give you anything else. So they took me off the magnesium sulfate. Um, they told me not to take my breath in anymore, which was the medicine that I've, I've been taking since 18 weeks to stop my contractions. They told me to not take that at all, period. So I stopped taking it, and they watched me for a little while on Saturday for, for several hours, I guess about six to seven hours to make sure that I wasn't contracting, and then they sent me home. Well, I came home off the medicine. I was doing fine. I had a little bit of swelling uh, in my hands and my legs and my face. So 
On Sunday, 2 o'clock Sunday morning, I ended up going back to the emergency room having contractions like crazy. I had like, all of these right here are contractions. Yes, so because he told me to time them. So all of these are freaking contractions. Like a minute and a half, two minutes apart. So I um, ended up going back to the emergency room and watched me for a little while. I was contracting, but it was false labor because um, I didn't have any kind of changes in my cervix. My cervix was still the same, so they sent me home. So they sent me home Sunday morning about 5 o'clock. And after I got back home, I noticed I was swelling like crazy. My legs, my feet, I'm still swollen, if you can tell. My face, my legs, my feet, my fingers. It was just ridiculous. My legs were so tight. I had so much fluid on my legs and my feet. When I was walking around, I could feel like the fluid bouncing around on top of my feet. It was horrible. So now, that's, that's another reason it took me a while to do a video because I was trying to wait until the swelling went down because I, I was not cute. And I'm still swollen now, so. But, um... They, um, he, I called my doctor again and he told me that, you know, it, it was probably from, you know, the medicine that I was taking that they had me on in the hospital, the magnesium sulfate, that was one of the side effects, was swelling. And, um, he said that basically, you know, it had a lot to do with the fibroids too, because the fibroids are so big, my uterus is so big, the baby is big, and, you know, I'm in the, the last stages of pregnancy, and I just had a lot of weight, you know, um, down on my pelvic area so that's why i was swelling so bad but anyway i'm probably gonna have to do a two-part video because i don't want to go over yeah but um since i've been back from the hospital i cannot sleep at night um i've been like hot all the time freaking hungry like crazy I cannot fill up. I'm swollen. My um, my hands are tight. My face is swollen. My eyes are swollen. I feel like my lips and my nose is huge. So I just don't. I don't know. You know, what to do other than to just just wait it out. I had a doctor's appointment on Tuesday. Day. Monday on Monday today is Wednesday I had a daughter's appointment on Monday and he told me that every week until I have the baby they want to do a non-stress test so I have to go to the hospital every week for a non-stress test to make sure that the baby is doing fine and you know the baby will operate okay during labor or whatever there was another thing he told me that he uh, would rather me try to have the baby vaginally other than just ruling out that I won't be able to have him and I have to have a C-section, which is great to me. I mean, it doesn't, I don't care. I'm, at this point, I don't care how he gets here. I'm just, I'm just really, really tired of being pregnant and I need some kind of relief. I really, really do. I need some relief. So, um, <clears throat> he said that, uh, he wanted to make sure that I could have the baby um, vaginally if I want more kids because I'm going to have to come back and get the fibroids taken out. And that's just like, you know, the myomectomy is like a C-section within itself. And the more scar tissue you have, the more they cut on you, it's harder for you to get pregnant again. So, yeah. So we've got all this other stuff going on. So I'm going to stop the video right here and I'm going to restart it because I don't want to go over. 